my loves, and welcome to your reading from May 30th to June 5th. I'm glad you're all here. As you can see, um, I am clearing and cleansing the cards, the crystals, and of course, all of you here. Just remember that when you come into my readings, you are always protected and you're, you are safe and sound. Okay, so let's get started with your reading. Let's see who's next. Curious as much as you are. And it's Cancer. So, hi Cancers, uh, for those of you anywhere that you have Cancer in your chart, this is your reading. Anytime you see this will be the right time. If the reading resonates, claim it. But if it doesn't, then look at your other placements. You could look at your Ascendant sign. The Moon is about emotions. Venus is about love and finances. Uh, you could also look at, uh, you know, Saturn, Jupiter, and of course your North Node. In the reading, take what's yours and let the rest go. And also feel free to swap the energies around if you feel I'm not talking about you. And remember, cross watchers and cuspers are welcome to the reading. So let's get started with you, my CMCs. Let's see what's going on here. Actually, I'm going to start with this deck. Oops. These two cards wanted to come out. You got the four coins, which means there is security here, financial security. Uh, also, holding on to something very tightly here. And a transformation, death and rebirth. But I'm going to put them back into the deck, and if, uh, we'll see if they come out into your reading. Okay? So, I decided to use this deck. I'll use both decks. <laughs> okay, let's see what's going on one more time for Cancers. CMCs, how are you? Okay, let's see what's going on here for Cancers. Let's look at the situation at hand. What's crossing you and the root. You got the, the hangman. What's crossing you is the Two of Swords. And in the root, you have the Three of Swords. Still releasing here. Okay. Let's look in the recent past till now, in the current energy. Got the Seven of Wands. The Seven of Swords. A lot of sevens on the ground. And the Four of Coins reversed. I showed up in your reading, but it's reversed. That's, uh, mm -hmm. Okay, let's look at the immediate future. What is hidden from you and the hopes and fears. Ten of Cups reversed. The Star reversed. The Queen of Wands. Let's look at the possible outcome. Justice. Aha. And in the overall, you've got the Four of Cups. There's also some resistance also, I feel, here for you, Cancers. Resisting change. Not liking to uh, change too much, right? Okay, so in the Four of Cups reversed here, this uh, talks about where uh, you're, um, at this time, a lot of you could be withdrawing, okay? That's also the Four of Cups, like the Hermit card. But you're moving on from a lot of rejections or things that did not go your way in the, or whatever it was here from the past. Uh, also feel the past. Uh, interferences but there's a sense of withdrawing and also moving on uh, in the situation you got the hangman yeah so definitely you're in the you're in the cocoon stage okay but this relates also to the recent past till now um, you've been waiting for something here there's something you've been waiting on uh, there's been a sacrifice here and there's been a long time um, you're in the cocoon stage okay that's what I feel you're in the cocoon stage uh, with the two of swords, what's crossing you is that uh, you're there's a there's something that you've been waiting on here, and in the root you have the three of swords where there's like uh, you know uh, maybe there could be there could be loss or feeling sad or some type of grief or heartbreak in a situation. Um, in the in the recent past till now in the current energy you have the seven of wands, 
you've been setting your boundaries, okay, and you've been facing your challenges and you're overcoming this. You already overcame it. This is what it shows. A lot of you have been keeping quiet. You haven't been really telling anybody much of what you've been going through. But there's also a sense where you're still like making decisions along the way on your journey, but you're still carrying that hurt, right? And uh, with the four coins reversed, I feel here that or you've been giving, you've been giving too much of yourself, of your energy to others or some type of giving too much or uh, too much giving or or too much spending. It, it all depends here what this is all about. Um, with the Ten of Cups reversed here, I feel that a lot of you could be like unhappy at this time. Uh, there could have been a separation for some of you out there or not being happy, okay, or contented. Um, this could be in a love situation, could be in your family, just your, how you're feeling. With the star reversed here, it just feels like a lot of you ha are feeling discouraged. Um, you're feeling that you lost your faith through, in, through this challenge here. And there's some type of insecurity. But with the Queen of Wands and the Hopes and Fears, this is about your, you being confident and you being determined and passionate about something here. And the karmic scales here are balancing with the justice. This is about whatever that was unjust will be just. Okay, um, this talks about also, uh, you know, something that's coming into balance is about the truth. And uh, if you are going through some type of court or legal issues, this talks about rulings will be made in your favor. This is also about fairness that's coming in. So we're going to clarify the cards and see what's going on here for you. So let's look at the four of, uh, let's look at the four of cups reversed here. Wow, the cards are just like wanting to fly out of my hands <clears throat> so let's take a few cards for... okay see these ones wanted to come out um yeah you see you got the death card the star card the magician and the queen of pentacles this is powerful okay you are going through it you, you, you have to understand cancers and i know you do already okay but you are going through a huge transformation uh there's uh, of course the death card talks about like ending of cycles there's new beginnings there's change you're in a metamorphosis cocoon stage which I've been seeing this, okay, you are manifesting here, okay, you're raising your vibration and also praising and gratitude in what you have and where you are, okay, whatever these lessons were, okay, and with the star card, it just talks about where there is hope that's going to be restored for you and, you know, feeling happier and feeling more optimistic and also returning to good health. Whatever that you've been following, whatever that this star is, whatever this is that, that you've been wishing upon, a lot of you, this has to do, uh, you know, it's about, uh, you know, it's about success and victory. It's about prosperity. Okay, it's, uh, you're very generous, you're very caring, you're very nurturing, you're, you're a good business person as well here. But it talks about like your pentacles and your stability here. And you know what, uh, you are going through a huge transformation. Now let's look at the hangman. The cards just want to... It's like all the cards want to come out at the same time. Look at this. Okay. Let's look at the hangman. Let's see in your situation what's going on. You've got the five of wands, the hierophant, the seven of swords. A lot of you are keeping quiet at this time. Now, this card could also mean that around you, there's people that are dishonest. Okay. Could be. Um, and maybe that there's a lot of conflict around you or you have conflict within yourself. Maybe there could be disagreements or tension here in the situation. I feel a lot of you are dealing, there's a lot of people that you're dealing, like you're in this cocoon stage. You don't want to be bothered in this cocoon stage. You're trying to gain the clarity. So again, with the transformation that you're going through, being in a man of forces and in the cocoon stage and sacrificing here, there could, have been a, there could be also conflict. And a lot, I do feel a lot of you are keeping quiet to yourself. Again, you know, keeping quiet to yourself, meaning you've been trying to rest, you've been trying to, uh, you know, have that peace, that sanctuary away from this type of energy of the five of wands, okay? But at the same time, you're still caring and you're letting go of all the hurt. Uh, this is your north node, okay, in uh, Taurus, okay, that we're dealing in now. Uh, this is about maybe you being a spiritual leader. Some of you, maybe it's a, a Taurus energy. There is a Taurus energy here. Uh, maybe you have Taurus in your chart. Whatever the case here, it's about, uh, it's about uh, you know, uh, beliefs. It's about knowledge and tradition. Uh, some of you, this could be about marriage. Maybe there's something that's going on with someone here that is having a difficulty in their marriage or in their relationship. Uh, but it, most of the thing with the Hierophant, it talks about being a leader. Okay, so now let's look at the Two of Swords and what is crossing you.
the towers coming in the world Whoa. the two of pentacles while you're juggling while you're juggling while you're balancing here and uh, you're making financial decisions or you're so you could be feeling pulled into the different directions because there's something here that you've been waiting for maybe there's difficult choices that you have to make maybe you're stuck in the middle of something here the tower is coming in and it's going to feel like disruptive and yes there is change coming here okay and it might feel chaotic but there's an ending of a cycle that's taking place an important cycle and so you're graduating to the next level congratulations there is completion here full circle and success so there's definitely an ending that's taking place here where you had so much difficulty let's look at the three of swords in the root you got the ten of swords the eight of wands the three of cups again here what i'm you know the heartbreak the endings that took place or an ending that took place the uh, you know, where there was maybe bitterness, betrayals. I feel that there was a lot of betrayals or loss in the situation here. Um, had to do with your past, okay? There was too much interferences, uh, people that did not have your back, people that were dishonest, okay? This is what they're saying here. Uh, but there's an ending, that that's definitely. And while that these endings are taking place, okay, I do see that with the Eight of Wands, there's like quick movement, travel, news, and messages coming in for you. As you're walking your path uh, towards your true no north here, okay? Now, let's look at the Seven of Wands in the recent past. Till now. Page of Swords. Eight of Pentacles. King of Wands. Yeah, King of Wands. That could be someone that uh, you have that has this energy around you. Uh, could be. Or this is you in energy, okay? It doesn't matter if you're male or female. It could be a new type of communication coming in. It could be about, you know, having uh, ideas uh, that are for, for formulating for you. It could be someone that's watching you on social media. It could be. Whatever it is here, there could be some type of communication. Someone here is very curious and chatty and energy. You've been working on something. You've been putting a lot of dedication and long hours on it. And this talks about uh, taking leadership. Again, the, the leadership here, it's about there's a bigger picture to a situation here. This is about taking control. Okay, and being daring. It's about being passionate, going through, uh, going, taking, well, not going through, but like, it's like a sense where um, there's something that you're passionate about and you're going towards it. Now, let's look at the seven of, 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 of uh, swords because you did get that card twice here. Let's see what this is all about. Five of cups, temperance, the hermit. Yeah, definitely here. A lot of you are keeping quiet. Usually the Seven of Swords comes out. It could be. There could, uh, definitely there is lies. And, and there was dishonest people around you for a long time. But the, I feel like a lot of you are not telling people. How you, they, you know, they see you. They don't know that you're going through change. Like that you're going through this Five of Cups energy. You've been keeping quiet. And, you know, you've been showing. A, you know, not showing the people what you're truly going through. You know, with the Five of Cups, there is a loss here. There's grief, regret, being feeling pessimistic. Okay, um, this is about the three cups here. It talks about like, you know, these are like uh, interactions you had or connections you had that, you know, it's uh, that spilled over. There could have been disagreements and hurt and um, from the past, a lot of interferences. But you're you're clearing. You're, there's something that you're clearing here completely. And spirit saying, but look at the two cups. They're still standing here. So there's some type of like, ha ha moment that has to take place where you have you you're gonna understand because that there's a silver lining to why everything took place here for you. And um, you don't want to share about what you're going through, okay? Uh, there is some type of merging and integration that's taking place. And with that, you got the Hermit card. So not only are you going through a transformation and an awakening and a rebirth and being in the more metamorphosis and being in the cocoon, you're also with the Hermit energy, you're also withdrawing. You're also turning inward. You're searching for your truth, inner guidance. Some of you are meditating, okay? And uh, you're going through a lot of changes and uh, you're trying to bring balance in your life, okay? So you're not going to take fast steps. You're going to choose carefully. There's a middle point. This is about moderation. So there's some type of moderation, having patience here and uh, bringing something into balance. That is what you're doing. Let's look at the four coins reversed. You got the Ace of Cups and 
this is about abundance that's coming in. The Ace of Cups, I see there's abundance. Um, it's also about work, work, walking through your spiritual path. You're opening your heart to forgiveness, to unconditional love. You're going to feel overwhelmed, but it won't be something that is, it's not an overwhelming, like, that it's uh, unpeaceful. This is a peaceful, something peaceful here. For others of you, could, there could be new love as well coming in for you, okay? So, but definitely the Ace of Cups, I see it as an abundant card. Now, let's look at this Ten of Cups reversed here in the near future. Six of Wands. The Hangman reversed the Ace of Pentacles. There's definitely some type of opportunity here that's coming in, okay? That's about success, victory. It's about feeling... Uh, uh, feeling recognized and some type of reward okay that's going to be coming in there's something here with the hangman reversed here uh there's something here that you're st there's a stall like a delay for the ten of cups and um i always i feel like there's something in in timing here with the ace of pentacles could be a gift or money or could be a new financial opportunity here but whatever the case here i'm just gonna take an extra card for the hangman okay because over there it was reversed it was upright and this is reversed so definitely there is some type of surrendering here why is the hangman reversed yeah it's <laughs> yeah it's in divine timing definitely it's just like you're stalling there's some type of stalling here whether it's you or another person. And uh, this is about seeing the signs, the synchronicity. You know, you feel it. It's coming in here. There's positive news. This is like, like a sense of excitement. A lot of uh, fresh ideas are going to take place for you and uh, some type of adventure. Now, let's look at the star card that's reversed here. A lot of you are feeling you lost faith. Feeling discouraged. You're feeling that your dream is never going to come true. It is coming. It's coming true. Let's look at the star. The five of pentacles. Yeah, you're feeling left out, abandoned, ghosted in the dark. Could be feeling uh, poverty consciousness here for some of you. Okay. There will be some, there is security here. Okay. In your home, in the business here. Uh, but definitely there is security and there's happiness. There will be celebration celebration and joy and harmony in the home. There's some type of proposal. It could be a marriage for some of you out there. Yes, I would. I, I do see marriage here for some of you out there. Okay, there's some type of proposal that's taking place here. And I do see someone, whether it's you or someone with the King of Wands, the King of Cups energy, someone that, ha that has balance between their head and their heart. If it's about love, so this is someone that's emotionally mature and they value family. If this is about work or whatever, it's someone that has a lot of logic and they have a lot of wisdom here. So there is some type of balance that's coming in. Let's look at the Queen of Wands and the hopes and fears. Yeah, you're going through a transition. And... Even like you're, you're going through a, a transition between worlds where... At one point, it was very difficult to a calmer place. Some of you could also be a physical move. You could be relocating or moving. Here you come into your own reading. There's triumph here. This is about finding direction and taking control. There is travel indicated. You trust the universe. You know that you're you're like you know you're not the chariot. Usually, there no one's holding on to the reins. It's by okay, let's go. It's about trusting and going. Okay, and this is about finding your power back. It's about taking your power back here. And this could be travel indicated and moving away from this other, this type of energy. Okay, and definitely here, um, it could be something creative that you're doing or you're going to be very, uh, maybe meeting someone very sensitive around you. There could be, uh, like I said, uh, it could be a lot of possibilities and opportunities taking, your, uh, taking, uh, taking place here for you. Now let's look at justice and the possible outcome. The sun. I'm not going to take any more cards because that's the best card in the deck. And this talks about joy and happiness, abundance. Okay. It's about feeling like a child again. You've been stripped away of everything. So you're like in a sense of awe and wonder. It's about all the positive vibes. The sun is shining on you. Uh, let's look over here. You got underneath the deck, you got the seven of wands. 
with the seven of uh, with the nine of pentacles the three of wands okay you're overcoming everything here you're overcoming with the seven of wands you overcame this is what they're showing you know you're setting your boundaries you're facing your challenges you're independent you've been working on yourself there is financial success or security here for you you could even take a day off cancers and enjoy the fruits of your labor you know be in the moment and your manifestations are coming in this is about success okay travel could be about some type of expansion and how you see uh, how you are gonna uh, proceed forward uh there could be overseas opportunities but definitely your ships are coming in so i hope that you enjoyed your reading cancers and now i will take out a card and these are uh what is the name of these cards uh let me see the name the guardian angel cards and i will take out one card for you cancers and read passage Oh, that one wanted to come out. Okay, we'll take that one for cancers. Oh, actually got two cards. So let's do the first one. It says your healing. Listen to your heart. Love is the greatest healer. It has the capacity to balance and heal your emotions, thoughts, and perceptions, which in turn will heal you physically. Your angels are here with you and will help dissolve your fears. Trust in the power of love to guide you and your life will magically transform. This card is a confirmation that healing is occurring right now. And I do feel that as well. And inner child, nurture your inner child and begin to express the awesome beauty you hold within you. We live in a world where a formula exists for everything. Yet love and creativity, creativity have no formula. They do not need to be studied, simply nurtured. Regularly set aside some time to just play. So I hope that you enjoyed your reading. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Know that I have your back and I love you all. And remember, together we are one. Together we are light. And together we are love. Take care and I'll see you next week, Cancer. Bye.